Here's the big one. Who has the craziest family? What's going on my friends? DJ Lowstax here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another gig log. Today we are at Heritage Glen, which as you guys know, one of my favorite venues. Uh, we're here today on a Friday, so I had to cut out of work a little bit early. I think we're expecting about 150, I believe, people, 130, 150 people, which is going to be uh, a good amount for this reception hall. Um, it's at a golf course and uh it's just in like the back bar area uh super cool spot you guys have seen it before i'm down here at the ceremony site right now getting this part set up first uh just because i only have to park my truck once we are a little bit of a uh, a hike away a little bit untraditional today we are actually going to be doing the bouquet toss right after the ceremony because the bride and groom are riding off on a horse and carriage and she wants to throw the bouquet off of the carriage so that's going to be a little bit different today other than that uh pretty straightforward standard reception after that uh they are doing cake cutting right after introductions uh just i think they want to be unique change things up a little bit but i'm headed inside right now to get set up in the reception area i will catch up with you guys in a few peace all right guys we're inside now just got on setting up they actually had a golf outing going on here so, so i was setting up while the golf outing was uh, doing the raffle and stuff so didn't want to set up a camera but real quick i'll just walk through my setup super basic um 735a if you can see them a lot of bright lights come in here uh, wash fx2s two of them um, another 735a mic SLX4, um, Rain 62, Rain 12. Uh, I did do up lighting as well, so it's basic lighting package added to the up lighting. Uh, so I've got eight up lights around the room and two wired, so 10 up lights total. Uh, getting ready to head out and uh, play some music for the ceremony. So I will catch up with you guys after that. Alright, so, another one in the books, guys. Another wedding in the books. That was actually my first Friday wedding of the season. I only have two booked this year, so I had that one, and then I have another one Labor Day weekend uh, that Friday. Uh, but, overall, super solid gig. Uh, I've never had a wedding with a horse and carriage. That was pretty cool. Um, I didn't get the bouquet toss on camera because that happened way down the hill there where they got dropped off. My camera was sitting out in the grass. I had to hurry up and spin my EN1 Pro around and uh, talk on the mic to the girls that were out standing behind the carriage. But it did go off pretty good. It went off without a hitch. It was um, a little challenging uh, to do the bouquet toss because nobody knew it was coming except for me and the bride and the bride's parents. So it was a little tough. I had to grab the microphone and uh, direct all the girls down to behind the carriage because they really didn't understand what was going on. 
but it worked out. Uh, I was completely wireless too for this ceremony. I want to point that out. I actually had my iPad on this. Uh, it's a stand that I bought. It's on stage brand. It's an actual laptop stand. I'll link that down below. Um, but I had my iPad on that and I had it on an angle. And I had a G3 pack clipped onto that. And then I had the, the pastor uh, mic'd with a laugh pack. So that was wireless uh, and battery, battery powered basically through the G3 pack. And then I also was using these again which if you guys have not checked these out, uh, link in the description down below. It's the XS Wireless Digital Base Set from Sennheiser. So what I did this time was I made a wireless mic again. So I plugged one end into the back of my EN1 Pro and the other end to a uh, standard you know, wired microphone and made it wireless. So I used that for my announcements real quick because you know, I was standing right on top of it. So it worked great. Uh, not a problem at all. And I set it up that way because I wasn't sure if there's going to be any sort of reading or anything like that. And I wanted to just be prepared in case there was. But I seriously, guys, highly recommend these. Link in the description. I I might buy another set just so I, I could run two wireless speakers if I wanted to. That is the, the uses for this sucker are just endless. So link down below to that. Link down below to the new laptop stand that I've been using. Uh, and also, as always, links down below to Vibo, the DJ's Vault if you're not already a member, and uh, BPM Supreme. Uh, use my code LOWSTAX30 to get 30% off. Man, I can't talk again. But, all right, that's all I have for today. As always, if you're new around here, please like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below. I'm trying to build up the comments down there, man. Uh, so if you got something to say, uh, say it down below. Ask me some questions. Start some conversations. You know, the more the more traffic I get down in the comments, the uh, higher my videos get boosted. And I'm trying to grow this darn channel up to, you know, DJ Rick Webb and uh, DJ Bar status. So I'll catch up with you guys soon. Also, if you guys haven't started yet, you need to go subscribe to Nick Spinelli. His channel is freaking hilarious. Uh, he's got a couple vlogs up already. So um, at DJ Nick Spinelli, uh, I believe is his uh, handle on Instagram and things like that. And if you just YouTube search Nick Spinelli, you'll find him. Dude is hilarious. Does wedding DJ tips and, uh, and he's also got his own channel going. So go support the homie. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.